Hey guys, this is DIY or Die back again, and I'm gonna be just kind of going over and uh, answering some questions about the 120 volt to 240 volt auto transformer video. So I had a question about if you get a split phase or Edison three wire type system from this transformer here. So the answer to that question is you can certainly get a split phase system off one of these. So uh, in the video I showed a configuration like this. So you have uh, just your standard primary coil off a microwave oven. Power that from mains here, so neutral to line. And then you have your second coil connected in series with it and that gives you just an overwind. Uh, so then you get from neutral to line 2, 240 and neutral to line 1, 120. Uh, but you can't do say uh, line two to line or line one to line two, sorry, or line two to line one. That won't give you uh, 240 volts. You'll just get 120 from that. So what you need is a different configuration, and uh, it's set up like this. So you have this would be your one coil here, would be like this, and then your second coil would be here. So first and second. You can pick either one to be your primary coil, that's not really a primary, but the one you want to drive from mains. Uh, and then that would be, so just put your first line, and then you got a neutral in the center, and line to neutral is 120. And then on this side, uh, rather than going in series like up here, you uh, you flip the, you have to phase your winding basically. And so you want the voltage from here to be 180 degrees out of phase from here, and so you just have to switch uh, these two leads until on your multimeter you'll get uh, 240 volts from line 2 to line 1 and so that's essentially it it's just the center tapped auto transformer basically and that's what I have here so it's kind of hard to see but uh, I had changed it originally from that video so you have uh, show you here. this is your input cable so you got your line and your neutral and there's a neutral there, shared again. And then this black wire is also a neutral. And it goes to the second coil. And then the other end of the second coil is your other hot. So you have both your neutrals. There's your neutral on the first coil, neutral on the second coil. They're tied together, as seen here. And then uh, your first line is here on the one end, right there. And then your second line is on the other end, which is right there. And then I'll turn it on here and show you guys. And as you can see, if I go line to line, oh, if I can get a proper connection, there we go, 230 off the, I didn't quite have it on the 120 winding there, or the 120 tap on my transformer. That should be closer to 240 volt there. Yep, close enough, that's 230 there. And then line to neutral for the first one, 120. And line to neutral for the second one is, well, 100, 111. So you got a bit of loss there. Different different winding counts, but it's close enough to be uh, usable for just a rigged up system. So as I mentioned, here's the windings. And so you'd get your line to line from, uh, yeah, these are bad leads. Anyways, you'd get your line to line from here to here. And then line 2 to neutral will be here to here. And then line 1 to neutral will be here to here. Or, again, here to here. I mean, this is the same point, so it doesn't matter. So that's how you'd set that up with two microwave oven transformers if you want split phase. Hope that helps.